Good morning, folks. How's this as a follow-up to yesterday's Iran story? Capital city of Tehran will shut down on Saturday due to pollution. No evac yet. It appears even more underwater volcanoes are becoming active near Turkey and Greece. This has been a theme the last few months. Had a four-pointer in Italy. 3.7 is unusual in Oklahoma, but the planet has had no major quakes for 10 days. Even the Canary Islands are silent. Australia is in the midst of a major heat wave. While fire danger rises, oddly there is snow in New Zealand. Massive rainfall is washing away homes, causing landslides and flooding in Rio de Janeiro. The new year so far in East Africa has been windy, rainy, flooding, and very deadly. Cyclone de Mao headed away from anything and everything. New storm Sonamu is in the South China Sea and headed due west towards Vietnam. In the United States, the drop continues through the winter with widespread effects. In terms of driving the air today, we have a clockwise moving red high pressure system spiraling outward and the north side will get sucked into the blue low and a counterclockwise helical motion is seen from above. The wind map shows that high center over Texas and the low somewhere over Canada. Coming to the bar toll, on the right you see that the cosmic ray density continues to rise near 101. 102 is the highest I've ever seen. You remember that the New Year's gift from the sun was a peppering of sunspots and indeed the flares are increasing minimally, but still no bigger ones. Up north, 11640 finally creates some magnetic instability, but does so as she heads away from the Earth. Despite the decent umbral sizes here, there appears to be little magnetic complexity to the structure. We got another good size leading umbra turning in on the eastern limb, should be good to watch. But north of that, we have the first 2013 example of Earth facing quiet. December 31st, I took bets on whether he'd be so boastful when he got a look at us. On New Year's Day, it was time for the truth as this thing showed no signs of stopping until it did. And now the newly developed southern portion on the bottom left is the most dangerous aspect of the group. Heck, we've even just watched the birth of an equatorial active region and so far we got nada. In fact, as you see the locations of the dark coronal holes, note that on the bottom right at the end is the lone eruptive feature we've seen in a while and this one failed to even leave the corona. The sun hasn't shown off yet, but unlike before, the magnetic danger is there. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.